drama going on in TikTok in regards to Straw Hat Goofy, a uh, movie guy who got real popular uh, on I TikTok. We talked about him a while back. Yeah, uh, another content creator uh, named King Lion and uh, a lady named Fantastic Frankie. Now, I've reached out and I've talked on, on Instagram with Fantastic Frankie before, um, but just like King Lion, just like Straw Hat Goofy, Fantastic Frankie, I stopped following them, all three of them, a long time ago. And it wasn't because of this scenario that I'm about to explain what's going on right now. It's just because after looking at everything, I just, I just stop. I mean, they, they, they have millions of followers all combined, so they're fine. They don't, I don't, they don't give a shit about me. But after looking, and now I'm glad that I decided a long time ago who not, to, you know, I don't. There's no, there's no real connection here. I don't, I don't need to like follow these people anymore. But so the situation is. Like Straw Hat Goofy being the more, more popular one out of the three, has over three uh, million followers, uh, has been in a, uh, he seems like a, a, a real, you know, smart, nice guy, and an entertaining guy, talks, has pretty good takes on, on movie topics and stuff like that, Most, and then recently got in trouble. Uh, he, his, his tag is, let me be your movie guy. His most, re and then his most recent controversy was when he looked like he was scabbing during the strikes and all that stuff, and he, he you know, backpedaled, got out of it a little bit, and it's fine. King Lion is a guy who uh, has risen to, now he's about over 700 to almost 800,000 uh, followers, almost a million. He'll, be, he'll have over a million before the year is out. But, and he's a movie guy and stuff. One of the things that, that pisses me off about him is this take on Batman. You know, I like Batman, but he's like, like anybody that loves Batman, he gives the reasons why Batman sucks. And you, I can't, I'm one of those fans where I can't argue with him on it, but I don't give a shit, but I, like, but he's, his delivery is considered by a lot on TikTok is to be more forceful, more more mean, more toxic, and things like that. And I can see that. Then you have a young a lady from New York, Fantastic Frankie, and you know she gives her movie reviews and she's got a following. She's like under a hundred thousand, like seventy thousand, I don't know, something like that. So the big beef that happened between these three recently was something like this, from what I understand. Um, Fantastic Frankie and King Lion uh, have blocked each other a long time ago, and uh, since th and since then it was been like a mutual uh, uh, agreement. Like you don't talk about me, I won't talk about you. But according to King Lion, she's still constantly talking about him because she he, his fans will see it and then show it to him, even though he can't see it because he's blocked. So it's like. The only time King Lion responds about her or mentions her on t on TikTok is because she's is in response to something she said originally. Like for example, there was a situation where she had this take on TikTok where she talked about what was it called the Spider Man into the Spider -Verse, Beyond the Spider Verse and how the Miguel character because she's a Latin, she's not uh, she's a Latin uh, uh, Afro Latina uh, uh, and she's like the the take uh, that that. Um, the Miguel character, Spider-Man 2099, was was uh, being extra against Miles Morales because of how the the whole thing about how uh, Latinos and how they treat Afro Latinas and stuff like that. That like that whole thing was like she has this whole video about it about that being the real underlining uh, message or the take that she got from that from that movie, and then a bunch of people, a lot of people responded to that saying like like they they disagree. But the thing about her video was like, she started the video off with, uh, this is like bad against Afro-Latinas or, or she'll say something like, if you don't agree with this take, you're a misogynist or something like that. It's like, like that, that's how you, you, you don't, you start the video and say something like, I'm about to give my opinion on something. And if you disagree with that opinion, you are a fill in the blank. And everybody, including Star Hat Goofy, King Lion, a lot of people, we're like, I don't agree with that. And she would block people for it. You, if, if people were toxic against her, she would block them. If When King Lion said his thing about it, they, the beef started with them. Even Stryad Goofy said he uh, disagreed. There was a person, who, uh, a small TikToker, who like, had like 100 followers, and, all, and he didn't say anything bad about her. All he said was, I heard what you had to say. I listened. I just disagree. Blocked. Like, like, like she. If you don't agree, like, like that, I, you know, I don't like people like that. If you, if you're, if you have to start an argument with, if you don't 
automatically. Now, if you say something like, I saw the I saw these Klansmen in front of somebody's yard burning a cross. And if you think that's OK, you're probably a race. I can, OK, that is because there's a connection. There's a, a race. Like a connect. But if it's, it's like if you don't agree with my opinion about this fictional character, that might not be the actual take that the creator of the movie was going. It was like, but if you don't agree with my how I feel about it, then you're a fill in the blank misogynist or whatever. And that's all he disagreed with. King Lion has I, I went on a deep dive in his in his uh, platform. He, there's even videos of him saying, if you follow me and support me and agree with me, that's fine. But do not attack. Uh, Frank, but so. Make the long story short. Straw Hat Goofy, the one with the most followers, made a post not saying King Lion's name, but people knew who he was talking about, pretty much saying we have to protect black women. We have to do the blah, blah, blah. And I, I can no longer follow a certain mutual that I was friends with because of the way he's going at it with another TikToker. And King Lion responded. And then they've been going back and forth and people have been taking sides. It's like, so, so in King Lion's defense, and I'm not a follower of King Lion. I, I, I can see why people don't like King Lion. He can be a little much. And I, I ain't down with talking with brothers like that. But I got to agree. If the, if, the, if the line was drawn, we're blocking each other. And a mutual agreement is, an unspoken agreement is, if you don't talk about me, I won't talk about you. But Fantastic Frankie is constantly uh, putting King Lion's name in, in, into, st into stuff. And all he's doing is just responding with the same energy. Why is our mutual friend, Straw Hat Goofy, going on TikTok saying, I have to disassociate from King Lion because we have to protect uh, a black, you know, black women as if he's the one starting it or he's the one continuing. He's, a, he's the and from what I can tell, he's the one just responding. She's the one initiating everything. Uh, unless I'm wrong, if you, if you guys have proof of the, of the contrary, prove me wrong. But from what I've seen, in the, in the, in, in, and even Straw Hat Goofy had to um, to uh, admit those things. So this is a situation where it's like Straw Hat Goofy took the safer position of, yeah, I know she was wrong for that. But if I go against her, society will judge me harsher for going against uh, you know her versus him. And King Lion has all these these dings against him he's aggressive he's loud he's this and that he can be he can be you know toxic a little bit he can be this and that and the other and all that stuff blah 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 even though he, he gives the same energy to everybody for his and fantastic frankie has those so a few of those same traits but you calculate which one will give will get will garnish you the less uh blowback my thing on this, and this is my agree, and I know I'm taking up to all the time because I know you don't know much about it. But here's my thing about this whole thing with Straw Hat Goofy. If you guys are following this on TikTok, you know anything about it. My opinion is this: Straw Hat Goofy shouldn't have said shouldn't have said anything. Now, if he doesn't want to follow or be mutuals with any of these people, that's fine for whatever reason. But to make it public was the dumb thing to do. He shouldn't have said anything because. King Lion was correct when he said, why is it that she can get a pass for saying just as uh, harsh and vile things? And not only that, starting it and he's only responding to it and you don't unfollow her, but you unfollow me. Why, and, you, and you text me directly and say, we talked about this. I told you not to talk about it. But you're not saying that same thing to her. Why aren't you going to? Because he took the safer route and that's why and, and that's what this whole thing is going here's my opinion on it y'all all be y'all y'all can all easily even fantastic frankie y'all can all easily just stop right now because this shit is stupid all this tiktok drop this, this is stupid y'all don't want to be friends no more then just shut up but my my constantly my 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 TikTok feed is constantly being hit from all these other TikTokers going. I'm on Straw Hat Goofy side. I'm on. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this. I made this long ass story to tell you guys to tell Straw to tell Fantastic Frankie, somebody whose takes that I've agreed with and I've liked, and some that I've disagreed with. I don't. If if you can't give your opinion on your page. Knowing that 
millions of people possibly can see it and, and have the right to react to it. If you can't give your take and your opinion on something without telling people that if you disagree with me, you're a dot, 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 then I, I, that's, just, I, that's just freaking crazy. Uh, King Lion, if you can't, if you if you if if you can't if you can't see your 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 homeboy or whatever uh for what that bullshit really was, dude, just just stop talking with that dude. Like, I mean, he, he going he's already decided that his three million and his influencer status is more important. Just let him leave him alone. And Straw Hat Goofy, I'll tell you this, dude, you should dude, you just got out of this controversy with the whole scab thing now you want to get into it and and, and to be considered a, what we call in our in our community a whole ass dot 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 yeah dude stop i and i and i love all of y'all's takes and um, um, for the most part on on things but y'all acting fucking ridiculous right now like for real just all of y'all all three of y'all just stay away from each other you if she's not gonna stop uh, putting her your name in his, uh, her mouth, you can still stop responding to it. It's nothing. You almost got a million followers. I'm talking to King Lion. Don't worry about her. You got her your followers. She's got her followers. If her takes are great, I like uh, I like a lot of most of her content. Just y'all just need to stop. But if you can't, the per I feel like the person who can't stop, that's the person that people need to stop uh, listening to. That's my opinion on it. That's all I gotta say about it. I, mean, I don't know. I I. I I kind of I know you don't really know any of these people, but before I move on to the next talking, anything you have to, on this on this one, don't really know. Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to take the time <laughs> and just talk about these uh, people because I'm tired of seeing it on my on my feed. I stopped following all three of y'all a long time ago, and y'all keep coming up in my feed. I don't care about this stuff. The only reason why I don't block you is there's a chance that I might want to work with y'all in the future. But with but now, no, not right now. It's the children. Shut up. All of y'all, stop. And whether I agree with you or not, if I'm 100, like I'm, I, I'm 100 percent on your side, mostly b b above anybody else at mo at the moment. I'm still giving you that advice to stop. Just to stop. All right. Uh, anybody saying anybody in the, in the chat that know anything about this? No. No. Brianna right. said she had seen the girl before with some uh, some people that she follows. Yeah. And now she sees why they never. She never saw her again. They yeah. didn't collab anymore. Like I said, I mean. Peter says he doesn't do anything with TikTok. I mean, <laughs> Straw Hat Goofy took a calculated, uh, made a calculated decision through his uh, through his friend uh, King Lion uh, away because he wanted to be on the side of women and all that. That's that's fine, but you. You had he had no response to when King Lion asked him directly, why is it OK for her when I don't say anything about her? It's OK for her to make a bunch of videos and 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 say my name and, and insult me. But it's not OK for me to respond to that. I'm not initiated. He, had, he has no legit response to that. So you're playing favorites to the thing that you think is the safe side. It's not, that doesn't mean that your, the message of protect uh, black women isn't true. It just means, why is she, uh, why, uh, the, this, the question that he gave, why is it okay for her to, when, when some, we've already blocked each other, we've already drawn a line, I stay on my side, you stay on your side, why is it okay for her to do it and him, for him not? So, uh, I mean, it's just some stupid shit. So anyway, what's the next damn topic?